What's up guys, Prop Truth here. So today what you guys are gonna be getting is actually a combo, a lockdown combo. Let me just put it like that, a lockdown combo on your very first turn with Cyber Kaijus. Now, it's interesting because I didn't figure out this combo until I was playing against Lice once. And he won the die roll and he wanted to go first and he did. But there is a catch to it, but I'm not gonna tell you guys, I'm actually gonna show it to you. So let's get straight to the combo profile. But before we do, don't forget, Hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification button. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys. So this is what I'm going to do for you guys. As you guys know, I already have a Lice One deck. So what I'm going to do is actually play out the hand that he had so you guys can see the board he had and then exactly what I did to respond to it. Cool? So let's get straight to it, guys. So I'm not too sure what his hand was, but I originally know, knew that he had the Charge, the Foolish, and the Raiden. So what he did first was that he went to activate Foolish Burial. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I ended up chaining the Maxi. He goes and he mills the Wolf. The Wolf came out. Um, I drew a card. And I drew into the Terraforming. Then he goes and activates the Charge of Light Brigade, milling three cards, including the Wolf. And then ends up searching for the Lumina. Because another Wolf was milled, I drew into another card. Then he goes and normal summons Raiden, applies the effect, doesn't mill anything else for me to draw. However, he goes and overlays right into Minerva, giving me another draw for um, Ram Clouder. So he ended up leaving the board like that, and that's all he really, that's all he was really able to do, apparently. So then by the time my turn came, my draw phase showed up, and this is exactly what I had. So... At first, I was like, this hand is weird. I didn't know what to really do with it. I had to really sit down and think about it. And this is exactly what I wanted to do first. So what I did was that I said terraforming, searching off the waterfront. Now, um, I, act, I actually activated the terraforming. I mean, I mean the terraforming. I actually activated the waterfront. And then I was wondering what exactly to do here. Now, once I saw, all right, I can get uh, Link Spider out and able to Brilliant. That's exactly what I did. So I normal summon the drag connect, applying it to get Bistron right out the deck. So let's actually fix this here. So then right here, I was like, okay, now I can actually link summon into Link Spider. Now, guys, please do not forget Waterfront's effect later on. Do not because it's really it's really important because you're going to apply this effect later towards like the ending of the combo. Then from here, I said, okay, you know what? Is, is, is not that bad. So I said, I'm going to activate Brilliant Fusion. So Brilliant Fusion allowed me to send uh, Lazuli and uh, Salvaging Driver to the grave in order for me to Fusion Summon Seraphonite. Then, don't forget, guys, Lazuli's effect triggers bringing back the Bitstron. You're going to need the Bitstron back into your hand. So you're going to add that straight to your hand. And then from here, I was wondering. I said, okay, um... There's a, there's a few things I can do, but remember, Seraphonite gives you an additional normal summon. So right here, I was like, okay, I'm going to normal summon the Ram Clouder, which is perfect, because now I'm like, all right, I can actually use Ram Clouder to bring back Salvagen. But I wanted to actually clear this board off because I need a Link Spider's effect. So I already got my second summon. I said Ram Clouder's effect, tribute off a monster, target the Salvagen driver, and bring it back. Now, guys, don't forget, Salvin the Driver also brings back a Cyber's Monster from your graveyard by pitching a spell. So, right here, I was like, perfect. Now I have Link Spider's effect, special summoning the Bistron that I brought back with Lazuli. Then I was like, okay, now I'm getting the hang of it. I said, you know what? I'm actually going to mind control now. Take his Minerva. Let's just bring it over here. I said, now I can figure out what I'm going to do here. So, I started thinking... I started looking through the extra deck, trying to figure out what I'm going to summon first. And I said, you know what? This is perfect. What I'm going to do is actually link summon, sending his uh, Minerva and Bistron, and my Bistron, to the grave in order for me to go into Proxy Dragon, which is perfect. Now, remember, guys, all these cards you've been sending to the grave, Waterfront already applied. So we already know that Seraphonite, with uh, Ram Clouder's effect went to the grave, you get a counter. That's pretty much your um, 
your second your second counter then the mind control and then the bistron and then the minerva giving you total of pretty much a max of five counters on it already so do not forget to, to apply the waterfront effect so then from here i say you know what I, this is where i pretty much got stuck at i was like you know what this is uh, this is what i'm gonna have to do because i saw my hand i said okay this is not that bad there's a lot of ways you can you can actually get through this so i said you know what we're gonna actually link we're gonna get rid of this is for uh, uh not for oopsie sorry guys we're gonna actually link into um into three you guys already know who's gonna come out we're gonna go straight into trigate now this is when i was like this is not that bad now you can't forget salvage and driver's effect the scapegoat could be any spell card guys i just happened to draw the scapegoat at that time and i was gonna save it because i usually save scapegoat but i'm not i was like you know what i'm gonna end this board pretty beefy so i said i'm gonna pitch the scapegoat right bring back the proxy dragon and then right here i say you know what i'm gonna link into four now guys you guys are gonna go straight into the one and only firewall dragon put firewall here guys now this is when it gets pretty interesting because you still have these two cards now since you already over max you already maxed out the waterfronts um counters just search for the um gamma seal you're gonna need gamma seal guys don't search for anything else and since you control the cybers monster you can go in special if you want and so you don't have to really um what you call it go crazy on uh on your life points with soul charge but in this situation it's really uh it's not that question it really doesn't matter what you're going to do is special summon ba back up here then you can go soul charge obviously you're going to bring back the proxy dragon and you could bring back any um any cybers monster it has to be a cybers guys and then what you're going to do here is link right into where is it at right into honeybot honeybot as you can see is protecting firewall now and since a monster left firewall dragons uh marker that one card that you'd search out the hand with waterfront gets special summon now whoopsie oh don't forget soul charge goes to it guys and that's what i ended up doing on the first turn now here i was just like okay try gauge wizards effect banish yeah banish the the um the wolf however though as you guys notice, I use Soul Charge. I can't attack, but I have full control. And there was, this is how I ended up winning. He ended up drawing. I'm not too sure what he drew. I didn't even ask. I was just so happy what I did. We already knew he had Lumina in the hand, which means if he was to summon Lumina and he was to apply the effect of pitching a monster to get the Raiden back, where's Raiden? If he would have gotten Raiden back, you know, it's still not a threat to me. Now, he can easily sink into Black Rose, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to negate the effect because I have Trigate to negate and banish. And I have Gamma Seal with Waterfront on board to negate and banish. Twice, because I have two counters. I, I mean, I have uh, five counters, giving me a total of two negations and banishing. Now, the only downside to it is be, is, is uh, Link Spider. Link Spider has low attack. They can easily summon something and, and run into it. However, you do have Firewall to bounce twice. And what I like about this board is that once you activate Trigate's Trigate Wizard's effect, you can always use Proxy Dragon to get rid of the Trigate Wizard after you resolve this effect to prevent something else from getting destroyed. That's why I would use Trigate Wizard first for um, for negation and then the Gamma Seal to negate the other two. It's This is a pretty interesting board because Honeybot protects Firewall from being targeted or destroyed by battle. Trigate is Trigate. He negates whatever he wants. You can also get a free banishing. Proxy can protect anything on board, and Gamma Seal just negates everything, guys. And this is what ended up. Once he drew his card, he did summon Lumina, and he he did pitch to target the Raiden, but then he he stopped and he was like, you know what, you got it. He didn't. He 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 actually scooped. There was nothing else he was gonna really do. Now you guys can see the downfall to it is that you pretty much have to go second because and you need to have the maxi in your hand, guys. That was the downside. I just happened to get lucky. And um, you end up with no cards in your hand. Now, this is easily this can easily be stopped by just getting Ash or Ghost Orc. He, however, he didn't have that in his hand. 
he was able I, I I even throughout the middle of that I was like listen if you have Ash or Ghost or you know just let me know you're gonna win boom he said nope keep continue and I'll be honest I did not think with that hand that I had I was able to do this I had to really it took me at least at least eight minutes to really think about what the hell I was doing and then once I realized what I was doing I was like okay I'm gonna win now so this is exactly what I was talking about to my fans who were wondering, like, you know, why I'd rather go for Cyber Kaijus. It's because it's more control-based. This is, the last time I seen this was Spirals doing this, or even once in a while World Chalice. And the fact that you can end this board with Cybers makes this deck have a lot of potential. I know the blurriness, guys. It has a lot of potential, and this is just cards I'm improvising with. We don't, we don't have, we have decent Cyber cards, but not enough to really and like this you know without the kaijus so this is exactly why i prefer to play this deck rather than taking the three structure decks putting them together and playing a deck that 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 spams which is of course but i will tell you guys this if you spam if you have a, a hyperlink deck and you spam first turn and you're and you get board wiped that's pretty much it because this this deck is hard to recover or any cyber, any um, not cybers, any uh, link deck is hard to recover, especially spirals, especially uh, world chalice, and even uh, cybers. You know, this is exactly why I prefer to go for control. Now, as you guys can see, I could spam and control, which is a lot more better, guys. And that's my opinion. I'm not gonna take away uh, what you guys feel is a lot better for you, because you know every duelist is different. This is my type of playing style, guys. And this was an interesting play that I did, and I had to share it with you guys. And I hope you guys did enjoy it, because now this is something that you guys can try out for yourself. Now, um, there is minor adjustments that I did to that. I did put one um, Balancer Lord into the deck. It was uh, It's okay. It helps once in a while. But it just, I did this without Balancer Lord, guys. Now, if you was to play me with your, your, your Structure Deck Cybers, and, I, and I'm able to pull this off, it's going to be hard for you guys to recover because I'm going to bounce something back. I'm going to, I have three negations and not only that they negate, they banish your cards. I have protection on board. That's the only down. This, this board loses to if somebody kaijus me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That's the downside to it. But I want you guys to see that this is a little bit better build than, um, like it's more control. It's a lot more control. And if you guys like control, if you like to control your opponent and want to shut them down, I highly suggest doing this build. I will give you guys, actually what I'll do for you guys is actually put the deck list in the description below for you guys. And you guys, you play around with it. You guys tell me what you like about it. Tell me if you guys enjoy doing something like this. But again, remember the only downside is this whole thing started off of one card, Maxi. I got lucky with the rest of the cards being drawn off of Maxi. And, you know, that's that's... But don't get me wrong, if you put a lot more draw power into it, uh, putting like draw cards into it, and you get those combo pieces, this is exactly what you can do, guys. So, guys, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. I gave you guys pretty much an idea of what happened on my first turn. He went first. Yeah, it wasn't that much of a of a board he did, but it was pretty decent because if, if I would have popped Minerva, he would have applied the effect. I'm pretty sure he would have popped something, which is why I'd rather take it and link with it and then banish the um the, the the only wolf he had on board so guys again thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i hope to see you in the next video later so there you guys have it that was the lockdown complete lockdown on your first turn now you guys could see what the catch was right you need maxi in your hand and i just got lucky with maxi i drew the combo pieces that i needed and i'll be honest i didn't know they were really combo pieces until i started playing slowly and then figuring it out, and I was like, wow, I can actually lock them down. Now, I thought I was gonna get Ash or Ghost Org, and that never happened. So that's the downside to it. That's another downside, actually. If you get Ash or Ghost Org, and they lock you down with that, like they Ash your Drag Connect, it's it's pretty much over. Like, you, you're not gonna really go off, or Ash your, um, your Brilliant Fusion. So, everything in this format is pretty much hand traps. But if your opponent does not have the hand traps, and you have those cards, in your hand, you pretty much win the duel because you have Gamma Seal with Waterfront to negate twice and banish just like Trigate because Trigate could do that. You have a Firewall that's protected from Honeybot and gets to bounce two cards. So it, it was pretty interesting that I ended up doing that because the only time I've ever seen a board like that is with Spirals. And 
this is exactly why I was telling some of my um, people that comment in my comment box on why I feel like Cyber Kaiju's is a lot more better control compared to picking up the three structure decks and putting them together. Now, don't get me wrong. The structure decks is pretty broken when you put them together because it's you're pretty much spamming the board, but you lose to board wipes. And that's what I started realizing with Cybers when I started playing with them. I lose to board wipes no matter how much I spam, which is why I went straight for the control. And this is why I'm trying to explain to you guys that this is a lot better than putting the two structure decks together. Now, you can manipulate the deck a little bit. If you add a little bit more draw power into it by your own way, let's just hypothetically speaking, you put Reckless Greed in it and you draw your combo pieces that way, it's crazy because now you can pretty much go for control. My opponent couldn't do anything at all, even after I cleared that board. He really couldn't do anything. I took his Minerva and I banished his uh, his board. So it's pretty much that he had to really top that. Even if he summoned JD, he wouldn't want to use the effect because I'm going to banish JD. I'm going to gain banish him. So he's going to be forced to attack. And by the time he enters his battle phase, I'm just going to bounce him back. Even though he can special summon in main phase too. It's still, he still won't blow up because I'm going to gain banish. So there you guys have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, combo profile because I enjoyed showing you guys. I was actually really happy when I did it. And I was like, wow, I did this with Cyber Kaijus. So it was really really interesting that i was able to learn that and i wanted to share it with you guys and i hope you guys do it did enjoy it and if you did don't forget hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the channel show some love i would really appreciate that guys and also hit that notification button on top guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i hope to see you at the next video later